great. That's quite dramatic. It's time. All right, this is it, people. Let's move. Let's go, 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 go. It's time for me to unwrap the first book I'm going to be reading for this book series. So if you don't know, I'll put the announcement video here, but every Tuesday in December, I'm going to be unwrapping one book from my physical TBR and I'm going to be reading it. The object of this is to finally get around to the books that I never read. <laughs> which is so many of them. I'm such a Christmas person. I'm so looking forward to Christmas. And so I wanted to do a series on my channel that like has that feeling of Christmas, like unwrapping books. So I'm really excited for this and I hope you are too. So essentially I'm gonna unwrap a book in this and then we're gonna read it and it will be a reading vlog and there's gonna be one of those a week. I've gotta make a decision what to open first. I'm in a bit of like, not a reading slump, but I'm only just getting back on the horse. So I don't think I want anything too big. I think I'm gonna go with this. This is a paperback. It feels like a relatively small paperback. Do I want a paperback though? Or do I want like a hardback? Or do I want that? I don't even know what it is. It could be something I really wanna read, but I'm like freaking myself out. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. No, we're not. Okay, I feel attracted to this one instead. Something about the white paper is obviously what I'm feeling today. I'll try and, oh, whoops. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I just don't feel like, I, feel, I was thinking of the paperbacks I have that are like this size and I don't know if I want it. Okay, this is exciting. What am I gonna read? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's quite dramatic. Okay, this is fun. I'm actually in the mood for this. I should have like unwrapped it on the screen so you could see. Should I reenact it? <laughs> Security! Can you please escort this lady over here out? Okay, so in this vlog, I am going to be reading The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. This is one I've been wanting to get to for, since it came out. Molly from Mind of Molly very kindly gifted this to me for my booktube birthday back in September, for my one year on booktube. Ah! Okay, I was actually in the mood for some fantasy. Oh, between life and death, there is a library. Yes, Matt Haig. So it says, when Nora Seed finds herself in the Midnight Library, she has a chance to make things right. Up until now, her life has been full of misery and regret. Oh no. She feels she let everyone down, including herself. Oh no, but things are about to change. The books in the Midnight Library enable Nora to live as if she had done things differently. With the help of an old friend, she can now undo every one of her regrets as she tries to work out her perfect life. This is, oh, I love the hardback, like this teal color. This is very exciting. I think it's like light fantasy maybe, but I'm super excited. And it's not, it's under 300 pages. Oh my God, yes, that's what I need right now. I've read one Matt Haig, I've read The Humans. I don't think I really liked it. I read it like six, seven years ago. So I'm hoping this will be better. This has been like such a popular book. Like everyone has been obsessed with it that has been reading it. Okay, that was a good first one. Well, all my books are good first ones, but this was a really good first one. <laughs> So I am only 17 pages into this, like I'm barely into it at all. And like, I already feel like it could be five stars. You know when you just get that feeling when you start reading a book where you're like, yes, this is it. It just feels special. I think it's gonna be dealing with, well, it is already dealing with a lot of heavy topics surrounding mental health, which is something I know Matt Haig is very vocal about and open about. The chapters all, are all starting with nine hours before she decided to die, Nora, da 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 da. So we know that she is going to, I assume, commit suicide. And so that's this kind of like heavy thing lingering over everything that we're reading at the start. I'm just really in love with the writing already. I think the writing is beautiful so far. So I'm excited to read on more. I just haven't had time to read. It's not that I haven't wanted to. And I'm just really intrigued to see what the Midnight Library is and how that works. I'm really excited to actually get into it. I just wanted to let you know that my initial thoughts were this is gonna be five stars. And like, I don't wanna speak too soon, but there's been very few books that I've had that initial feeling and haven't been five stars. There's been a few but it's rare.
I am now 90 pages in and as much as I wanted to carry on reading it is like a third of the way in so I thought I should probably check in with you seeing this is just a one book reading vlog. I love it. Like I really love it. I really love it. A classic? Classic. Not debatable. Not up for debate. I think I mentioned that our protagonist, it's counting down to when she decides to die. We know that at the start. And that happens. But as much as I say trigger warnings for suicide, the good thing about it is that it's not on page, like explicitly described. So I definitely appreciated that aspect of it. I think Matt Haig probably knew that it would be very triggering to some to read that. And it's not, you don't need to read it. It's very emotionally impactful without that. And she has traveled to this place called the Midnight Library and essentially it is just her getting the chance to go and visit lives where there's a certain regret that she has about her life be it something to do with a relationship something to do with a job a career where in that life she she didn't not do the thing that she regrets not doing if that makes sense or doing the thing that she regrets doing um that doesn't make no sense so in one she's like oh I regret breaking up with the guy I was engaged to so she goes to the life where they were together. If she feels disappointed with that life that she goes to in any way she gets drawn out of it and goes back into the library and I think she can keep doing it I think until she um she finds a life that she loves and can stay in it. I'm not sure if she can go back to the life that she had before because I don't think she's actually dead technically i don't know it is just so emotionally impactful i already know i'm gonna cry i've already cried a little bit but that was something very trivial it was just about a cat and cats get me <laughs> i really love the writing in this it's so beautiful and just the way that it's dealing with mental health i'm struggling to think of a fiction book that has dealt with mental health in this way that has just had such a perfect look at it of what it how hard it can be living with like poor mental health and i really love our main character and i just love this idea of like glimpses into all these different lives and I just think the pacing is brilliant the way the book is written is brilliant like I just think everything about it currently is brilliant that's all I really can say I just love the way it's structured of like being back in this library with this librarian questioning about her regrets and then going into this other life and seeing what she achieved that she had always wanted to achieve but also what the drawbacks of that life are and it's just dope like it's just so cool so I'm really enjoying it I cannot wait to read more okay so I haven't read anymore but I just wanted to check in to say that I'm hopefully gonna finish it today. I'm just taking the day off of like uni work and stuff. I'm gonna go out to the local garden centre for oh my god <laughs> for a social distance lunch with my grandparents who I haven't seen in months so that's gonna be really nice and then yeah the rest of the day I'm just going to read this. So I didn't finish it like I wanted to and I am still, I'm now on page 182 and I'm still loving it. I just haven't been reading as much, but hopefully now I'm gonna get back into it. Sometimes I just go through these stages and it's hard when I'm trying to post a lot and I'm really busy with uni. Like I've got an essay due on the 17th and I haven't done much reading for it yet. <laughs> and it's currently the 7th, so I've got 10 days. Voila, what do we have ladies? A fucking clown. We are a stupid bitch. We are a fucking clown. I think I can do it because it will only take me like three, four days to write. I am still loving this. I'm going to finish it tonight and then I'll finalize my thoughts with you in the morning. I just really appreciate from this like Matt Haig's like experience with mental health and so the lens that this book is viewed through you know it's trying to teach Nora that her life is worth li is her name Nora or have I just completely made that up yeah it is phew it's trying to teach Nora that her life is worth living you know the way it does that it's like teaching you that as well like there was this bit I really liked about how small we are in the grand scheme of things how small our contribution to the world to the universe is going to be so like our problems are small I think it's it's really good to be reminded like how small and minuscule your problems are and also the fact that Nora is visiting so many possible lives she could have had and there's elements of sadness in each of them shows like it's 
it, there isn't a quote I can read you out. It's usually a really insightful like page or half a page rather than like just a line that hits home. But talking about like you're gonna have sadness in whatever dream life you have, though you'll be sad because you can't be happy without being sad. And it's I mean like you've heard that that phrase how many times? Like you've heard it so many times. Like there's no happiness without sadness. There's no light without dark. And like you always like. Okay. Like, it always just rolls off the head. You always go, okay. Do you know what I mean? Because if you're sad, you're sad. This said it and explained it and discussed it in such a brilliant way, like, across a page, that it finally hit home. Like, I was finally like, yeah. And it, it makes you think about stuff in your own life, and I think it makes you feel a lot lucky, more lucky. Um, it makes you feel very grateful. I, I'm really loving it. I'm really excited to just sit and finish it tonight. I've got about 110 pages. I think it's gonna be five stars. Like, although I've barely been reading, sometimes I find when I'm loving a book, I don't read it as fast because I just want to savor it and be reading it forever. I mean, this should have taken me a day and I've been reading it for like a week, but that's okay. Sometimes you just need that to happen and then you can read loads. I'm gonna finish it tonight and then I will give you my full eloquent thoughts in the morning. I finished it and I'm giving it five stars like we've known that's gonna happen throughout the whole of this <laughs> reading vlog really <laughs> I'm really happy today yeah this is for all of us this is such a special important incredible book like basically what I've been saying throughout about how brilliantly this handles mental health is just like it's just everything. Never have I read a book, genuinely, I can't I can't think of a time where I've read a book where it feels so magical, like it's sprinkled with gold dust throughout in this magical library, but also so based in reality and so realistic as well. It manages to merge that fantastical world and the real world and real world issues so well. Like it, it does it perfectly. I can't think of another book that has done it this perfectly. I think if you are someone who, I mean, we've all had, battles and experiences with our mental health but if you are someone who has suffered from depression or anxiety I think this is such a brilliant important book to read it is gut-wrenching like it is like heart-wrenching which <laughs> whichever one of those is the right one I think it's heart-wrenching gut-wrenching both can be wrenched <sighs> Like, it's so perfect. Like, it's just wonderful. I can see now why everyone is literally giving this five stars. Like, I'm absolutely in love with it. Like, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It was so beautiful and sad and happy and hopeful. It was everything all in one. It was like the human experience and the battle of this like life we lead all in one. I mean, like trigger warnings for suicide ideation, suicide, depression, but also, I think if maybe you are going through a bit of a tough time, this, for me, really helped me mentally. It really gave me a new outlook on a lot of things that I think I needed. So it was perfect. Like, it was everything. You know, just being in this library with an infinite number of books on your life, an infinite number of possibilities with your old school librarian guiding you through it all. And at the same time, like, seeing the threads of happiness and sadness throughout all the possible lives you could have had. And, like, really emphasising that regrets do nothing for you. I really feel like Matt Haig is like a prophet come to teach me about life. Regrets don't do shit. Like, we shouldn't live regretting everything. Really, we don't know where those regrets could have led us. I loved it. I would really recommend picking this up if you've been debating it. Thank you so much again, Molly, for sending this to me. I just adored it. I think it's brilliant. I would really recommend that everyone, everyone reads this because it's brilliant. That's all I have to say. It's just magical, wonderful, when, when, just say talk. It's amazing. This wrapped up uh, experiment video series has started off amazingly. I hope you're enjoying it. I have no idea, obviously, what I'm gonna unwrap next and I'm really excited for it. So the next episode of this will be up next Tuesday, but obviously I still have uploads coming Thursday and Sunday as well. I had a lot of fun reading this and I can't wait to see what book I read next for this book series. I hope you're enjoying it and I will see you very, very soon in another video. Bye.